Alright, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and today is finally the day that I show you guys my goddamn sneaker collection man. It's been a very long time. Uh, most likely it's just been, I've been wanted to, there's a lot of other shoes that I was waiting on to cop by the end of this year. So, we might have a lot of shoes so get your popcorn, get your snacks, get your drinks ready. This is about to be a long video, but I'll try my hardest not to make it a long video. But without further ado, stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy. Alright my boys, to kick it off with my sneak collection, we're going to be starting off with some heaters, man. We're going to be starting off with some heaters. Bow, man. Look at these, man. Boy, if you don't get... Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Get these trash can waters out my face, man. We'll need them shits. No, but for reals though, man, to kick off my, my shoe collection. Look, man, I'm about to be in my mid-20s now. You know, you got to be a little bit dressy. Got to dress up casual, man. You never know when you got to take that sexy chin and read it out on a date. So, I'm going to be starting off with my, kind of my dress, dressy type of shoes. So, Start off with your boy. Got to start off with them Chelsea boots with the wing tips. Um, that's what I look in when I when I shop dress shoes. Um, I always look for the wing tips. That's probably like one of my favorite things about about dress shoes is like the wing the wing tip. Yes, it can go with all leather, but I kind of like to have that little spicy hit to the shoe. So that's why I fell in love with the wing tip. Um, even when I first started um, collecting. Um, dress shoes as well. I have more dress shoes in my collection, uh, but those are really beat up now, so I just don't even have them in my rotation. Well, I don't even wear them anymore, so we got the Chelsea boots and we got the military boots. Um, same as well with the, mil uh, with the military with the wingtip style on the toe box. Um, I didn't even really think about these mili uh, as a military boot style. Um, when I first got them, I just wanted a, a little higher boot um but now when and not and, and look like no joke i got these at the beginning of this decade and they're still holding up strong like granted i don't really wear them as much um but they did last me the whole year the only thing that didn't last me was the was the laces i had to swap out the laces um so i got some leather laces on them now um but yeah, I mean, other than the lace is not lasting for that long. I mean, the leather is still pretty good. Um, it's still a little bit tumbled and all that. But man, dude, you know, it's crazy. He's lasting me a whole decade. And honestly, they can still, I'm, they're still rock. I'm still going to be rocking them in, into this new, this new year. So that's what happens when you buy quality, quality leather shoes, man. Like, yes, they are fucking expensive. I've seen the prices of these prices of leather of leather shoes it's really expensive man bro these lasted me almost 10 years bro um granted like i said i didn't fucking wear them all, all i didn't wear them every season but they're still they're still wearable um and for lasting this long i can still rock these bro i can still rock these so that's what i mean man you know you gotta spend you gotta play to win man you gotta you gotta you gotta play to win man that especially with leather shoes, you really do not want to get cheap leather shoes. Let me tell you, man, I was there before. Now, I'm I'm really special and grateful that I can spend a little bit more money on good quality leather sneakers. Um, but I might buy some new ones this upcoming season. I don't know, but we'll see. Next, we got. Now, these are like kind of like my casual dress shoes. If I don't want to wear the Chelsea boots, if I don't want to wear that military style type of outfit... Um, boot. I pull out these um, as as well as a wingtip. Let me tell you, man, I love the wingtips. Love the wingtip style. Uh, leather as well on the front. And you got suede hits. Uh, special suede hits on the back as well, man. This is another beautiful shoe. Um, another beautiful shoe, man. They're, I don't really wear these as much, um, but definitely in my rotation whenever I need to. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have them. Now, this is an interesting shoe, guys. This is an interesting shoe. I don't know when I will pull these out. Um, they're still DS. 
um, but I just picked up some J. Cruz loafers. Um, I picked this up, man. Um, I don't know. I been I was so close to rocking them for our um, for our Christmas party thing. Um, but I just did not go on. I didn't end up wearing them. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to wear these. I mean, I thought it'd be really easy to pull these off, but honestly, it's not, dude. It's not. And I always wanted, I always wanted these, um, always wanted a pair of these shoes, man. A pair of these loafers, but I, I never, I don't really see myself wearing them. So kind of a waste, I guess, but they're pretty nice. I mean, I like to look at them. <laughs> I like to look at them. I like to. I like the. Mmm. I like the smell, man. The, the leather. That's the thing about leather shoes, man. The fucking Ooh. smell of them, man. Fuck. I just hit my head. But let. Let me tell you, man. These are. These are pretty. These are pretty fire, man. Let me tell you, man. I like them. All right. Now we go with the with the actual casual sneakers. So first off, we got the all white Stan Smith, um, the leather sock edition. Alright, don't get it twisted, man. This is the leather sock edition. Do your research, man. These are pretty fire. Um, I really don't wear them. I was going to get... There's another pair of white shoes that I've been wanting to get so bad. Um, but... Uh, I don't even wear my... All, I don't even wear my all white sneakers at all. Like, I really don't. Like, I was so excited to wear them. And granted, yes, you can wear white shoes with legit anything you have. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can wear them to the gym, whatever, dude. You can you can legit wear all white shoes in any outfit. Let me tell you, any outfit you can fucking rock white shoes. And and for that reason, I really don't fucking wear these at all. Yeah, these are a little bit beat up, but I don't wear them as much as the, my attentions were. So I still wear them here and there. Uh, now. Now, I did want to experience this year of 2019. I wanted to experience, experience a lot of um, a lot of new models, okay? A lot of new models that you will see at the conclusion of this video. You will see that all my shoes are based on one company. Right, by the end of the video, I want you to want you to let me know down in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about. But look, but look, so my next ones are my new balances. These are the nine the 996s um i got these for a good pretty good price man i mean can't go wrong i love the color um that's the only reason why i bought them um comfort wise these are not bad um but for this model the 996 i wouldn't recommend i wouldn't like for if it's your new balance don't 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 get these right look the ones that you really want to fucking get now these are a life changer these are the New Balance 990. Now, man, oh man, look, y'all can roast me the ever the fuck y'all want, man. I'm old as fuck, but man, these once you put a pair of these shoes on, like I swear, just go try them on. Just go try these on. Go try a pair of the 990s. Go try a pair of the 990s, man, and and, and let me and come back to me. Reach out to me and, and let me know how you feel about these, man. Let me know how you feel about this. My fucking light just died on me. But it's all good. Let me know how how you feel about about these, man. Like, these really did. These are really comfort. Um, it is fall here, so that's why I didn't want to wear them. Man, dude, the suede on this is fucking good, man. These are these are great, man. Like, like these are phenomenal. I cannot. I can wear these all. I can wear these all day. Um, these are pretty nice. And now... Another shoe that I've been wanting to experience. This was um. Now I like to call these um the Vans, the Van, the Vans Virgil collab. It's not a real collab, but just the reason why I picked these up because granted it is Van, it is a, a high top Vans. Uh, it's an all leather shoe. I'm a grant. I'm a suck for leather shoes. Um. So yeah, that's one reason they're leather. Two, I wanted to, I wanted to differ. Um, I want, you know, I want to try new things, try bands. You know, another casual shoe. You know, you can pull it off with anything. But the main reason why I got these, bro. The main reason why I got these is on the heel tab. I don't know if y'all can read that. Hopefully, hopefully the camera can pick that shit up. But it says in quotation marks off the wall. 
Who does quotation marks? My boy Virgil, man. My boy Virgil do that shit. So, man, this is the only main reason why I, I uh, that's the only main reason why I cop these. Um, just because of that hit of the uh, off the wall type of all off white type of vibe, and I'm a sucker for off white now. So yeah, I like. It. Now next, um, I am gonna be. I am an athlete. I I do a lot of training. Now I will get into my training shoes later on. I kind of wanted to give these a try, but I like these in the summer. Like these are fucking. Uh, these are actually fire. Um, and these are the Nikes. Uh, I forgot what these are, man. I know they're flying it, but I can't remember what what model these are. Um, oh yeah, this says right here on the heel tap. Uh, these are the Flyknit racers. Um, now these are fucking comfortable. They're comfortable, and especially in the summer, man, dude. These 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 rock. These are fuck with, with a pair of shorts, man. You know, with a with a white with a white shirt with with a black shirt, man, you you'll be you you'll be looking good in these, man. Like on a casual casual day in the summer, these are fire. So that's why I don't want to I don't want to get these um, messed up. These are the two tone too. I like these, man. So I like these, man. These are great for the summer. All right, let's see what we got next. All right, I'm gonna show off these. I mean, I don't even wear these as much, but it's still, I brought them back in my collection. I, it's been a while since I got these. Um, but obviously, you know, everybody has to have the Air Force ones. I have the triple black ones in their collection. Um, I would wear the white ones, but I'd rather go with the Stan Smiths, honestly. So, yeah. Got some, um, not too special there. Um, all right. Now, nah, we'll do these next. We'll do these last, man. That's a dope clap. That's a dope clap. All right, so now, part one of my favorite. Nah, nah, nah. These are not one. These are not. These are none of my favorites. Uh, so these is the multi-color 1.0 uh, Ultra Boost man. These are fire. That's all I can say. These are fire, man, with the multi-color in the back, bro. I love the cream color, man, dude. I'm a sucker for cream, um, off-white type of colorways, man. These are fire. I, I really do like these. Um, I don't know if they. I don't know if these. I don't know if you can even buy these anymore. So, kind of rare. Uh, all right. Now, I did unbox these. I did uh, unbox. Uh, I, um, I did unbox these on my on my um on my channel already a long time ago. Um, these are the the ninety seven Air Maxes, man. These are. I like this colorway. Um, definitely a fall shoe. Uh, and like I said, I wanted to try, um, I wanted to try different, different shoes out there. So yeah, so these, these are not bad with the maroon colorway with the, with the hint of uh, blue, with that um, royal blue type of shit. I like these, man. This is dope colorway. The 997s, I, the 97s, I really do like them. Um, definitely, I'm gonna add a lot more um, 97s in my collections. The weather spoons. Um, now lastly, um, at least in my, in this side of the, of, of the room that I have, uh, of my sneakers, lastly, we got the Packers, the Soul Box, man, I look, we got the Soul Back, the Soul Box Packers, um, I do need to get the other shoe because, so yeah, these are the Packers, as you can see, it says Packers on one, heel cup, and it says Soul Box on the other. Um, I don't wear these as much anymore, um, but it does have that 1.0 upper on them. Um, this is a really dope shoe, man. This is when Ultra Boost was still the hype. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, the hype is not there anymore, but I definitely do recommend Ultra Boost or just Boost in general, man. It's really, really soft cushiony um, system, and you guys will see. Um, I explain more on my training shoes. So, yeah, Soul Box mids you can't go wrong with them man pretty fire collection i love them i love them all right continuing on to my collection i'm on like the second part of my in my sneaker room if you guys want to call it all right so i would show you all this but it's kind of messy right here so so first of all 
I'm gonna start off with pop this is definitely like my travel shoe essential now um, I have a lot of trips coming up this next year I have a lot of trips stay tuned for that but I do have a lot of trips so with that being said I need a travel shoe and the ones that tend to go with everything easy to take off when you're going through security and all that shit um, comfy at the same time is the 350 and the sesame colorway 350 boost probably one of my favorite colorways um, yet to release crazy thing no yes this is my favorite shoe um, comfort wise probably one of my favorite shoes stylish wise one of my favorite shoes yet I did not cop what is so ironically crazy I did not cop any 350 ever since the last one which was yeah I think the sesames were legit my last one so technically last year uh, when the sesames came out these were legit the last yeah cuz the butters came out I'm talking about we'll, talk, we'll get to those next but yeah this is probably like my last uh, Yeezy cop in a while it's been a, it's been a while I did hit on the on the um, on the Yee Chills or whatever the um, the black ones that came out this uh, this um, this month in December um, I did cop those but they didn't fit me they fit the the new model the new 350 models fit a little bit loose now compared to compared to the new ones or oh, compared to the old ones they fit a lot different now and so I thought I got legit a whole size bigger and yeah they fit loose I mean I, I did put I did double insult it and it did fit a little bit better but I didn't need them so but I am on a hunt on those black Yeezys so yeah anyways next another 350 boost is but this is the blue tint colorway um, I ironically don't wear this shoe a lot um, it is really unique I really do love them I'm really glad I kept them um, to a point I was legit this is part of one of my shoes that I was gonna sell I have another old 350 shoe I was gonna sell these but luckily I didn't man these are really nice the blue tints these are these are legendary man I, I love them man probably one of my favorites I, I love them man it can't go wrong with 350s man next how we talked about them. we got the butters we got the butters in here um, again part one of my favorite shoes um, it is out there this color it is really out there but um, but yeah man I really did when these came out um, I was like if I if I if I can get them I can get them and little do you know I got my hands on them and I kept them and I don't regret it man this is I really don't wear this shoe a lot either um, but it is pretty cool when you want to throw a little twist onto your onto your outfit you know if you want your outfit to pop yeah this is definitely um, the butters are definitely one of those shoes for that and yeah I love the butters man I love them one of my favorites um, we got some pretty dope Alexander Wang things Alexander Wang um, I legit so you guys know these shoes are meant to be hot okay and I did take in the hike so they are a little bit beat up um, I am on a hunt to get another pair um, but yeah I mean I actually did I, I, I kind of hiked in them um, so that's why they got they have a lot of uh, dust on them and, and whatnot but I mean I even played basketball in these bro <laughs> I even played basketball in these dude I was just it was just a little warm-up and I you know, I wasn't really intended to play basketball, and I legit play basketball in these, and I didn't run my ankle or anything, so these are actually legit pretty cool. Um, I know the bottoms are nasty, but it has, like, the Trifoil Adidas logo as a thing, so it kind of looks like, um, what do you call it? It looks like, um, oh man, shark teeth, so I like them, man. Like Alexander Wings, Alexander Wings, man, I like them. They're pretty dope, in my opinion. Um, the next ones, there's a lot of shoes that I want to call, um, Especially Y3s. I've been wanting to try a pair of those. Uh, anyways. Next. Part one of my... I think... Um, did I pick this up this year? I think I did pick these up this year. So, yeah. Finally got my hands on some Karma de Gussons, Um Chuck Taylors. Finally got my hands on them. Um, yeah, I think I did cop... Uh, I think I did cop uh, these... 
uh, this year. Um, and yeah, I've been really want, I've been really dig, uh, digging these. So kind of want to put. I obviously I wanted to get my hands on them, and I finally got them. So these are these are definitely I wouldn't say my beaters, but I feel like this, the Yeezy Sesame's are part like my beaters. But this is like part like my second type of beater shoes. Like you know when I don't really don't know what to wear, or if I don't even give a fuck about if they get dirty or whatnot or get mixed up. Um, I pull out these and kind of want to beat these. I kind of want to beat these up because I definitely want another pair. Uh, so I will get another pair once these are. I can't wear them anymore, but yeah. CDG Karma de Gusons can't love them. Next, we got the 2.0. We got the 2.0. We got the 2.0s, man. The multicolor. Whoo! Now these are part. Oh. Now I will get the next shoe I show you. Uh, it is hint, it is an ultra boost. Um, this is probably one of my top ten ultra boost. Uh, part out there so far, uh, including every ultra boost. Part this is this this one right here is definitely one of my top ten ultra boost of all time. All the ones that came out, the 2.0, um, are are pretty legit. Um, I do I did show. All right, my boy. I am so sorry, man. I for some odd reason ran a memory. I did check my that camera. This memory card only has like 32 gigabytes, so <laughs> that's why. But yeah, got a new SD card right in the camera. So I don't know if it did caught uh did uh it did caught up to this shoe, but I was when it was cutting off. I was talking about uh, the 2.0 um, and my whole Ultra Boost collection that I have. Um, so I already have kind of have a 1.0 in a way that's not a class and it's not a you know one of those old the first ones but I do have a 1.0 pattern do have the 2.0 obviously I have a 3.0 that I will be showing you guys um I have a 4.0 I have a 4.0 yeah I have a 4.0 and then the 5.0 if I can't remember um but yeah as I said I do have the the multicolor 2.0 um, it was one of the restocks recently it's not an OG but it is one of the restocks that just happened a couple uh, probably like last year or so I can't remember but now this ultra boost right here now this is one of my this is my top five ultra boost of all time no matter what this is my ultra boost um, my top five. This is one of my favorite ultra boosts. Uh, probably one of my top five. Um, overall, yeah. This is the Adidas Amamanir. Woo wee! Collab, boy. Woo! You got the upper cashmere. Woo! Man, you got that 1.0 pattern still. You got leather shoelaces. Man, dude, you got um, uh, got leather kind of a tongue. In a way, these are fire. The only thing they really, the only thing I hate about this shoe is the heel cup. Now the heel cup was with whether it was leather or suede. Man, this would be top three. But just because it has the uh, the plastic heel cup, I kind of don't like it. Um, I don't like that. But other than that, I mean, if this had a leather, either leather or suede heel cup. Top three, hands down. Top three. Just, just because now, just because I have the plastic, yeah, it's definitely my at least my top five. But yeah, so this is probably one of my favorite ultra boots that I have. Um, yeah, I really do like these. Um, next, whoo, we got um, party man, bro. I love shoes, man. This is this is a this is a good shoe, man. This is a good shoe right here. And I'm talking about. The Adidas Run Through Time collab. Woo! Man, bro, you got the France flag inside. It's really hard to see, but you got the you got the flag inside. Uh, each of the shoe, as you guys can see, I had like a red um, red hole punch, and on the other one, I has the white hole punch. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much yeah, that's pretty much the only difference. That's only pretty much difference. Um, other than that, I mean, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have the hand, the firm handshake that it is a collab. Um, yeah, 
I think that's what he means. Can't remember, but uh, but yeah, man, this is part of one of my. It is out there. It is really loud. It's like a nice royal blue. Um, this is a heater, man. This is a fucking heater right here. This is pure fire, man. Like when I saw these on feet. When I saw these on feed, man, I was like, bro, I need to get my hands on these. Like, for real, dude. These are fucking fire, bro. I love them, man. I love them. And now, shout out to my motherland. Since I'm already bending over, I might as well get this, the other shoe. Where should I put this one? Should I put it right here? I'll put it on top. I don't give a fuck. Now, shout out to the motherland. I forgot how my... I have one of these forgot what you call those but uh, but yeah so continuing on I got the human races um, Pharrell NMDs man um, these are kind of special to me because this is probably like I know it's kind of dumb to say but this was legit my first trip ever to my local employee store so lucky enough I got these right there they were sitting um, so I copped them man I copped them um, it was my first NMD um, kind of i really do like people will people hate the, hate hate these shoes and i have another shoe that i will show you that a lot of people fucking hate but in my opinion these are those are heaters like these are these are heaters yes it has a lot of fucking colors man but like it doesn't go well together like you got the pink you got the blue you got the yellow it don't mix together well like you would never think and you got green on the back to make it worse if you want to call it but these are straight fire. And I've been thinking it comes with blue laces. And I kind of want to swap them to the blue laces. Just to give it a little taste. Uh, but. Yeah. So they, they say Motherland. Let me get the other pair. Hopefully I'm still in focus. Um, but yeah. So both pairs say Mother and Land on the on on each shoe. So yeah. Motherland. And these. Can't go wrong. Now lastly. Not lastly. But lastly in this. In this section of my. Of my shoe collection. Um, going out with a heater. We got the Ultra Boost Kith collab, man. The I forgot what the I thought I forgot what the the colorway the native. I think they were the native. I think they were called native because they had to, and, and I think I remember they were the natives. But yeah, now these are fucking. Oh man, and it's crazy. It's ironically, it's a triple black shoe, and I really don't wear them a lot. Like, they're a triple black shoe, but I really don't wear these a lot. Like, I thought I'd wear them a lot, but I really don't. Um, but they're loud on top. And the fair thing about these shoes is that they're fucking 3M, dude. Like, the whole shoe. Both of the shoes, they're all 3M. And these pop, man. When you flash them, whoo. These. All right, my boys. Sorry, it cut off again. But, yeah. Before I continue with my other section, my third area of my shoes and my shoe collection yeah quick look again we got the kith adidas ultra boost made collab um it's all 3m upper man i love these and it's, it's kind of crazy how i don't i don't really rock them anymore i mean they're an all black shoe what, what, what you can go wrong um quickly though since i have them right here right next to me i don't know if you guys can see them in the frame but i do obviously i am an athlete i do train um, and this is part of one of my, um, I trained before this, I trained in, um, some Supernova Adidas, um, trained in those. I didn't really like them, hurt my, my, um, hurt my ankle area a lot, so I had these in the back, in the back burner, so I was like, they're mid, um, and I really can't complain, I mean, you know, Ultra Boost, if you really want an Ultra Boost, uh, to train in, um, I definitely will say go for these. Don't go with um, don't go with like a, a regular Ultra Boost. Um, and then just you guys already saw these. Um, don't go with the regular mid because it is a little bit stretchy right here. And these are they're a little bit stretchier, but these little ridges right here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but these little ridges right here legit kind of help you balance them out. And obviously the regular Ultra Boost. Uh, don't so yeah so if you really want to train in an ultra boost uh, i know some people say don't train in ultra boost but for me I, i'm fine with them i get away with it uh, but only with these don't you know if you really want ultra boost if you really want that comfort yeah 
go with these all right don't go with anything else go with these all right um and yeah while i'm at it i have a this is a yes yeah, a 4.0 yeah it's 4.0 nothing special nothing special pretty blame now getting to my basketball shoes your boy is still a baller i don't ball anymore through injuries my achilles i don't ball anymore uh, but I do play basketball here and there, get some warm-ups in and all that. Um, so yeah, um, these are really throwbacks. Um, these are really old. Um, and they still work, man. Um, but yeah, I'm balling Kobe's. I can't remember the, the motto of, of these. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've hold, uh, not hold them, but ever since I've, I've seen these. Or like known the model. So yeah, I can't remember them. I'll probably put on the screen or something. Uh, we got that one, and I recently picked these up. Um, I picked these up definitely. I am this is definitely in, gonna be the next shoe that I play basketball in. Um, they're still these are still in pretty good condition. Um, so I kind of I haven't played basketball in in, um, in these yet. I definitely have played in those. Um, but yeah, so these are my back burners. I'm not gonna play basketball in them yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait um, until I actually break those out. Until I can't play basketball no more with those. Um, now, let's go with let's go with my Pure Boost. Um, yeah, I think these are the Pure Boost. Yeah, the Pure Boost. This is probably like kind of my first ever uh, boost shoes um, that I say that I cop catching into the wave. Definitely one of my first boost shoes, and yeah, you can't go wrong with them. I don't know if you can still buy these uh, this model specifically. I think this is like the I really can't remember if this is the, the 2.0 of the Pure Boost or not, but regardless, these are really comfortable. Um, and these, I didn't know, these are even an exclusive, this is an exclusive colorway to Asia, or I can't remember what what region this color was meant to be, but I look, luckily I got them in my collection. Um, we, so we got them in black and we got them in red. Um, since I like those, since I got those, uh, I like how comfortable they are, so I went and copped the the red ones with the with the gum outsoles. Can't go wrong with those. And then the newer model, the DPRs, I think they're called, um, off uh, all white or all cream in a way, all cream, off white color, whatever you want to call it. Um, now I didn't really like these, just because right here on my ankle it kind of rubbed a lot. Um, I don't know due to I wear these in the summer so with no show socks so I think that was the reason why but regardless this is, this is a really nice looking shoe I get a lot of compliments with these these are pretty nice these are really really modern I like them man I don't know I, like I said I don't wear them anymore but hey, we got them uh, other than that we got the pods uh, I think I forgot what I know they have a specific name for these uh, I can't remember I oh, know they're just the PODs, the, the PODs. Um, not bad. Um, this big gap right here, this big gap right here. That's the only thing I don't like. You do feel it, honestly. Um, some people say they don't. Um, but I, uh, I don't know if I would recommend this shoe to anybody. Um, it is a nice looking shoe, but I don't really see our. This is like my barber shoe. When I go to the barber, cut my hair. It's my barber shoe. Yeah, can't can't be mad about it. Now going with another Stan Smith. Um, so this is the weatherproof edition of the um, of the um, of the Stan Smith. Um, um, where I live, it gets rainy, snowy, and all that. So I was like, hey, might as well cop them, you know? Um, yeah, I really don't wear them at all. Maybe because they're really tight on me. Um, I just need to break them in. Um, I legit part only wear them like once, if not none. But I can't. I think I did wear. I did wear these um, a while, and it, and it does come with like the Timberland type of shoelaces as well, shoelace colorway as well. So, so they're kind of like Timberlands in a way, but they're nice. I mean, can't go wrong. Black shoe, gum outsole, or midsole. You really can't go wrong. You can't, you can't go wrong with them. All right, now I am missing one shoe, and I think it's on top of the camera. Um, but 
Let's see. Yeah, let me get that real quick. Okay. Yeah, this is my other. These are the fly nets. I can't remember what these were called again, but they're the Epic Reacts fly nets. Um, got them a very long time ago. This is probably like the first batch that came out. Um, they're comparing it to Boost, and I will admit they're comfortable. Um, but I definitely don't. Obviously, you see they're they're still fucking brand new. Well, kind of, but. They're still pretty brand new in my opinion, and I really don't wear them at all, so, um, yeah, I mean, it got that Varsity, Varsity Red colorway with the creamy top, uh, these are nice, man, but, like I said, I really don't wear them, um, and I was, these, these were gonna be my next training shoe, next workout shoe, but, um, I kinda really did fell in love with having the, the extra support, of for my Achilles, uh, for my training, so, and obviously these are a little bit low cut, so yeah. These might be my next summer beaters, but I always say that and I still have them at the bottom of my shoe collections and I never really wear them, so that's that. Um, Let's see, another, nah, this will be right after. Actually, not nah, yet, yeah. let's show them off. So in my opinion, this is a Laker collab. Shout out to my Lakers, I know they're doing pretty bad, but Look, man, this is, in my opinion, my fucking Lakers shoe. We got the Ultra Bruce in purple and fucking gold, man. Woo! These are way gold, man. Like, ooh. Bro, when I saw it with that 1.0 pattern, ooh. Man, bro, these are fire. When I saw, when I first saw pictures of these, when I first saw pictures of, of these online, I was like, oh my god, like, this is a must. Since I struck out on the, on the Air Jordan 1s, uh, the Air Jordan 1s, uh, Chicago to LA, I think that's what that shoe was called. Um, yeah, I missed that on those, and I got these, and, man, I got it for a really good price. So, I was like, hey, bring them over here, man, bring them over here. For that price, man, whoo, for that price, man, I just had a cop, man. I wore them to the Lakers game this month, um, but honestly, I'm not going to wear them. I mean, this is a shoe. This is a special shoe, man. This is a special shoe. In my opinion, this is a special shoe. I have, I have two special shoes, but in my opinion, I could have put this in that special shoe, but it's brand new, so it's not really special yet, but it's... It's up there now. I mean, I'm not really going to wear this shoe a lot. It's really nice, but yeah. That purple and gold, man, looks good. It looks good on your boy. All right. Now, nah, this is pretty hype. So, all right. Now, lastly, this is my last Yeezy. Uh, we got the 350 V2 in the Beluga colorway. Um, this was, funny enough, this was, this was my first ever Yeezy. So this is why we're kind of getting now in the special shoe, um, in the special shoe category, probably one of my favorites in my shoe collection, so, so take notes. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of my favorites, uh, just because it was my first Yeezy, um, in the colorway, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, and I feel like that's why I can't get my hands on the triple blacks, because I already have like a gray pair, which kind of goes with anything, um, uh, besides, you know, the orange hip, but other than that, I mean... Yeah, this shit can go with anything. So I guess that's why I haven't really got lucky on on getting the, the triple blacks. But I'm going to hunt for those. Um, I am getting rid of some shoes. I already did. I already sold two pairs and and more. But uh, so yeah. So those those black Yeezys are going to be mine this, this year for sure. Or this upcoming year. Uh, now we got one of my favorites in my shoe collection. We got the off-white Prestos, man. We got off-white Prestos, man. Man, every time I look at this shoe, man, I just, like, like, I just, this is beautiful, man. It's a beautiful shoe. It's a beautiful shoe, man. I got so lucky to get my hands on these. Um, I'm really blessed to, to have this pair. Um, but sometimes you gotta pay, you gotta pay to play, bro. Sometimes you really do gotta pay to play, so. So yeah, probably one of my favorites. I like them, man. 
this this shoe really does mean a lot to me um it's it's a really nice shoe but yeah i mean this shoe really does mean a lot so this shoe will never never get never uh will leave my boys my my collection so all right now lastly i wore these the other day man <laughs> shout out to my moms man she was roasting your boy with with the shoe man she was roasting your boy with his shit with the shoe man you got the uh, off-white Vapor Street. Thanks. Over here. Um, now look, man. If I like it, if you like a shoe, buy the shoe, okay? No matter what other people say. This is, in my opinion, this is my definition of buy what you like, okay? To me, when I saw picture, leaked pictures of, uh, of, of these shoes, man, I was all over it. I was going nuts. I was going crazy. Like I was like, I was like, bro, these uh, knowing the off white hype is is really up up here right now. Um, I was really kind of like, I was like nervous. I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna get my hands on these, man. And I really, really, really wanted these too. And um, they sat. Um, I did get the black ones. I, I hit on the black ones, but they they didn't fit me. I ordered the wrong size, so I sold them. Um, and so with that, with that, I just, I got these instead. So I, I was about to double up. I might double up still. I don't know yet. We'll see. But, uh, the resale is not that bad or it's even under retail right now. So I paid retail for these. Um, I know I could get them for, re uh, for retail or under retail. Um, but I don't, I don't care, man. I mean, you know, I, I buy what I like. Um, yeah, I could save some money, but. But yeah, man, this shoe right here, it's fire. In my opinion, this is this is this is a fire shoe. This is part of one of the most underrated shoes of 2019. A lot of people dissed this shoe. A lot of people hated this shoe. Uh, but in my opinion, this is a really solid shoe. Like I really do like it. Um, and I did wear them already. Um, it is a little bit awkward, you know, because you got like that narrow end right here. Um, it is awkward, but to me, to me, I uh, I walked I. It, it was kind of awkward in a way. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little bit awkward, but I can still I can still fuck with them. They're comfortable too, man. Like that's why I kept them. Like I was really nervous when I got them, but I tried them on, um, and now I actually wear them, and and I, I can I can get down with them. I can get I can get down with them. So so I think yeah. So this goes with that. I put that to the side. Um, that was a really tricky one. So. Now nah, we'll do the hype. We'll do the hype ones at the end. So, so we'll do the most. Um, besides the off-white Prestos, these two right here. Let's go with this one. Um, these two shoes right here that I'm gonna show show you guys. Um, we got the Kobe Sixes. Uh, these shoes mean a lot to me. Um, like this is legit my childhood right here. Um, I did not make a lot of. Played my my last basketball game in these. Um, made history with these. Made a lot of memories with these. Um, and being a big Kobe fan that I am, um, these shoes mean a lot to me. And and especially until that person passes away, you know, on my soul, these shoes are gonna mean a lot more. So this is a shoe that when I have my kids, I'm gonna pass them on to them. Honestly. Um, this shoe right here, the Kobe Sixes, can't wear them anymore. I could, but I just don't want to anymore. They're already yellowing. They're already beat to death. But yeah, these shoes right here really do mean a lot to me. Like these shoes right here. This is my life right here. Like this is what I grew up in. Um, memories in this shoe, man. Just memories. Really good memories. Just really, really good memories in these shoes. Um, and then another good memory that I make um, now. These are the 2.0s. No, not these are the 3.0s. Ultra Boost. And funny enough, this was my first ever Ultra Boost. And that's reason why. Okay. Um, these were my first Ultra Boost, um, and these were a gift from my parents. Yeah, both of them got it for me. My parents. They gave me these as my graduation as a graduation as a graduation gift um knowing my story back then 
um, how I graduated, graduating from my local uh, community college. Um, my story of coming up, man, these really do mean a lot. Didn't know I was gonna make it into graduation, honestly. So, and now until this until this day, man, I'm, I'm really grateful that I really did graduate, really did push myself because I have a lot of opportunities now just for that last push. So, of going into graduation, so. So yeah, these shoes definitely now do mean a lot. Like I look back at this shoe and I'm just like, this is a, this is, this is a, this is why I graduate, you know? This is why I graduate. That's why I can afford all, all these shoes too, man. So yeah, I'm never letting these go for sure. I really don't wear them a lot. Just cause they have that sentimental value. Obviously I can't wear the Kobe anymore, pretty old. So lastly, Lastly, we're going with some heaters, man. We're going with a high beast, that man. We're going with a high beast. All right. If you guys know, you guys already know. If you guys can see the logos, if you guys can see the logos. Ooh, green box, green box for your boy. We got them. We got them. We got them bad boys. Your boy got the Travis Scott. Dang, man. Your boy got them Travis Scott's, man. Uh, I was going to let these go, honestly. Um, but looking at the... Looking at how grateful I am. I'm just... How thankful I am for shoes and all that. Bro, I just can't let them go, man. I'm, I'm, I'm selfish, man. I'm selfish, man. We got the Travis Scott's, man. We got them Travis Scott's. Things, man. Woo. Oh my god. Damn. Fucking love this mother new shoes, man. Still on DS. So we got them things. I'll fix them up in a bit. Um, and lastly, just lastly, the last cop of 2019. If y'all already know what's in the box, congratulations. Um, again, this battery really does suck. The camera battery camera battery does really suck but like I said it's gonna be a really long video so I kind of kind of expected it so before my camera shuts off luckily we got those Travis Scott's out the way but yeah like I said man if you guys know what comes in this nice shiny uh, silver box man this is uh this was legit this was my last I mean I did cop something else that's on the way but those are really nothing either. but Anyways, yeah, this was my last big cop of 2019, and man, oh man, what a, what a way to end the year off with the fucking off-white, I forget what this one is, man, the Dunk Lows, man, off-white Dunk Lows, Michigan colorway, man. Now, now these, man, now these, I really... I really wanted to sell them. I, w I was about to sell them. Just because one, I didn't know how they were gonna look in person. And two, I didn't know if it was gonna fit. Um, but I already tried them on and they fit well. Um, they fit well, can't complain. The quality is really good and they look good on feet. So I can't complain. So, so yeah, so these are definitely in my, these are definitely staying in my collection. Um, so yeah, what a way to end to end the new year. What a went what a way to end the new year off with these off whites, man. With another pair of off whites, man. This is man, I'm so lucky to get these in my hands, man. Um, and I don't mind the colorway too. I mean, the colorway it could go both ways. Um, I that's why that's the reason why I was gonna sell them because of the colorway. But as soon as I got them in hand, man, they actually pop, man. They actually pop. And I'm really getting into shoes that just, uh, that are different and that are just so loud. Um, so, so yeah, so definitely the off-white, uh, Dunk Lows. Can't complain with them, man. The, the quality on this shoe, let me tell you, man, let me tell you, I'm an expert at leather. So, I know when a shoe has good leather, especially with Nikes and Jordans like that. They said they have good leather, but in reality, it's not that good, um. But when it comes to these, these these low dunks actually have some really good quali quality leather. So, so yeah, so that's why I'm gonna keep. Them. So I'm a sucker for leather. So when the shoe has leather, um, yeah, 
I'm a keeper, especially in this. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's fucking go, man. I was so hyped, man. I wish I would, man. I was hyped when I got these, man. I was so hyped when I got these, man. These are fucking fire, man. Whew. I'm gonna rock them with that, man. These are fire, man. These are the ones I laced up. These are fire, bro. These are fire. But before the camera dies, man, that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys watched the whole freaking video. I really do not know how long this video is gonna be. So if you do watch throughout the whole, if you guys do watch throughout the whole video, let me know down below and comment something. I don't know. Just let me know down below that you actually did watch watch something. Um, actually, comment down below. Dunk lows dunk lows down in the comments so I know you actually watched the whole shoe watch the whole my whole shoe collection all right so with all that being said man I have a really good as you guys can see I have a really good my shoe collection is really is really different it's you know I have casual I have dress shoes got training shoes obviously you got regular daily shoes and obviously you got the loud shoes high beast type of stuff you want to say um but yeah that's gonna be it man hope you guys enjoyed this, this video it was really long um and yeah let me know what you guys is uh what uh let me know what you guys' favorite pair of shoes that i have in my collection um that'd be actually be pretty cool to know what, what shoes you guys think what's what your guys is uh favorite Favorite shoes in my collection. Let me know what's your favorite out of all my shoe collections. Let me know down below. Let me know, let me know down below in the comments. Comment it down and see what's your guys' favorite shoes in my shoe collection. All right. And then comment what's your biggest pickup of 2019 was. You know, to me, it was definitely these. This is my biggest pickup. Definitely. Definitely one of my biggest pickups. That and besides that, man, can't go wrong with the Laker colorway. Woo! The Lakers, man. This is probably my two favorite pickups of this year, for sure, hands down, man. So, with all that being said, before my camera dies, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, like always. And YouTube, and YouTube, I definitely will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>